Morning. Ready to go? Yeah, I waited for you. So what? I was already on my way and I was passing by, so I figured I might as well wait for you. That's all there is to it. So come on, let's go. Hey, what's with that look? That sour look on your face. You don't think I've been around you long enough to tell when something's wrong? Come on, out with it. What's going on? Doubting yourself. Explain. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Good grief. Don't give me that crap. You heard me. I said don't give me that crap. I don't ever want to hear you down yourself again, got it? If I ever hear you say anything bad about yourself again, I'm gonna be majorly pissed off. Because none of it's true. There's nothing I hate more than lies. Whoever put those lies into your head is gonna have to deal with me, because that's what they are. You're bright, kind, interesting, considerate, and you treat people with respect and dignity. You don't think the only time I paid attention to you is when we walked to school like this, do you? That trip to Egypt with Gramps changed a lot. Including the way I pay attention. And I'm always paying attention. You do kind things for people. You put others before yourself. And you always make yourself available to people who need you. That kind of thing doesn't go unnoticed for me. All those lies that people have put into your head don't know the real you. Because I've seen the real you, and the real you is great. So don't you ever go saying anything bad about that great person again, or I'll bust you for once instead of the jerks who keep messing with you. Huh? The nicest thing I've ever... <sighs> Good freaking grief. Come on. Let's just get to school. Oh. And don't forget what I said. Start seeing yourself the way you really are. Or I'll introduce you to Star Platinum. Maybe I'll tell you about that trip to Egypt sometime. It'll make more sense that way. <laughs>